A breaking news here in the Cardano ecosystem as we've got the Cardano Foundation announcing and releasing the Viridian wallet as well as the Viridian platform, a trustless addition to the core Cardano layer one, which is meant for managing DIDs or decentralized identities. As a part of today's video, we're reviewing the platform, exactly how it works and how you can get your hands on this brand new application. Oh, what's up, Ida Gang? Welcome into Dapp Central, your home for everything blockchain and crypto. I'm your host here, Farid, as I've just laid down the foundation there. We have the Cardano Foundation releasing the Viridian platform, as well as the Viridian wallet, which we're going to be jumping into here in just a moment, to highlight exactly how this is going to tackle decentralized identities here within the Cardano ecosystem, adding an additional layer of trust to the core Cardano layer one. Now, as we're going to see here later in today's video, we've got, again, the official application now live on the Google Play Store, as well as the Apple Play Store. This is actually currently on my phone. As you guys can see there, I've already downloaded it, but this is going to be key for important information or important credentials such as diplomas, health records, school records, financial records, you name it. You could definitely store it here within this brand new wallet and application. So as always, if it's your first time stopping by, my goal is to help you find your footing here within the Cardano and Bitcoin ecosystems. I would appreciate you if you could smash that thumbs up on the way in. It's by far one of the easiest ways to support me as a content creator. If you want more content just like this, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have any questions, comments or concerns, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you'd like to extend your support for the channel even further, consider delegating your ADA with either of the two Dapp Central stake pools, which will be linked down below as a part of the video description. So without any further ado, let's jump on in here. We've got an article to break down. And again, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly, I guess, can get access to this particular application if you guys would like to do so. So it states here, introducing a Viridian, an open source identity wallet and platform now live on iOS and Android. Viridian puts you in control of your digital identity with secure, verifiable credentials and privacy preserving infrastructure. The official website is available at viridian.id. Of course, again, check out the description down below. So jumping over into the official article that was just released by Thomas Mayfield earlier today, it states that the Cardano Foundation has eagerly announced the launch of Viridian, an open source digital identity platform for individuals and organizations. And moving forward, I'll be using the word did for digital identities. So it states here that this is now also being introduced alongside the Viridian wallet which is the platform that puts users in complete control of their digital presence, delivering verifiable credentials with robust data security. Again, I'm going to jump into the website here in just a moment. So this is, can be used for anything, for example, from healthcare to financial services, to supply chains and academics, where you can, again, keep your identity and verify your identity as a source of trust. Now it states here that last year alone, over 1.7 a billion records were compromised within the USA and hopefully something like this wallet will help to tackle some of those records that were compromised. Now scrolling down here, again, this is very brief. It states that Viridian leverages open protocols, which are open source, including key event receipt infrastructure, also known as carry decentralized identifiers, as well as authentic chain data containers, also known as ACDC. Now, these types of credentials are made or are used to ensure authentic communications and verifiable identity protocols are easily accessible to all. Some of the key advantages include comprehensive control, post-quantum security, verifiable authenticity, global interoperability, full transparency, and a cost-efficient scalability solution. As we get ready to close out on the article here, it states that the Viridian sandboxes, which are essentially test environments, will provide a secure containerized testing environment hosted on premises in Switzerland, where developers and enterprise teams alike can leverage these sandboxes to experiment with the Viridian wallet, its infrastructure and services, as well as encompassing cloud agents, credential management and verification tooling and solutions. Now, if you want to download the app, I'm going to show you guys how you guys can do that. And again, there's links to the official GitHub repositories, frequently asked questions and the play stores. 
So jumping over to the official doc section here, as you guys can see, very encompassing, breaking down the wallet. There's a full user guide here. If you're more on the technical side, they have some of the infrastructure documentation here as well. And then if you're a developer, they break down exactly, I guess, can get access to the actual platform. And I could potentially jump into one of those container or sandbox environments. Jumping over to the official website, again, veridian.id. It states the identity platform built for tomorrow, available on both Apple Play Store and Google Play Store. We've got a brief review of it here, some of the key advantages that I mentioned earlier. And then scrolling down, I want to highlight the end-to-end -end flow here, right? So it breaks down the end user. It also breaks down the credential management services, the Cardano blockchain and how that's integrated, as well as the secure identity tunnel. So starting off here with the mobile wallet, this is actually used to safeguard your cryptographic keys with a local sign in in an easy to use design that supports optional biometric authentication. For me, I know that I'm an iPhone user, so I use Face ID, but I know that there's also, for example, a fingerprint feature um, that a lot of Android phones support there as well. Now, moving on to the identity cloud agent, it's a platform that allows for you to secure digital identity with real-time protection across multi-tenant cloud infrastructure and the cloud agent can be deployed on public, permissioned or self-hosted or even remote ecosystems. Next, we have the credential management services, which are used to create, issue and manage verifiable credentials with flexible schemas and rapid revocation if you have to withdraw those. And then we've got the integration of the Cardano blockchain, which anchors schemas and critical events for tamper-proof discovery and global interoperability. So I assume that some of these records, um, at least when they change or updated, could be captured or will be captured on the Cardano blockchain. And then the last thing that they mention here is the secure identity tunnel, which is used to enable multi-device connections and it encompasses zero trust interactions for frictionless user journeys from mobile to workstations. Now, how does this actually tie into what they call the trust triangle? Well, it says that the trust triangle represents the future of digital identity building a verifiable trust without relying on centralized intermediaries. So here at the very top, we have the holder, for example, someone like you or me that downloads the um, wallet, the Veridian wallet. We then have this verifiable data registry in the middle between the issuer of the credentials and the verifier. And so as a holder of the Veridian wallet with different credentials in there, I'm able to get um, credentials from the issuer from there, I can present those to a verifier. And then there's a direct connection between the verifier and the issuer of that particular um, credential through the verifiable data registry in the middle. So again, this is the key piece here, which connects the verifier, the holder and the issuer. In terms of use cases here, they talk about KYCing for carbon credits. They also mention NGOs and document signing, as well as for example, things like governance for the Cardano ballot for 2024. Now, if you wanna get access to this, I'll leave this down below. This was literally just released uh, a couple of hours ago. I do my best to provide you guys here with the most recent and most up-to-date content. So if you do appreciate that, please smash that thumbs up. It really does mean a lot. But we have the official application now live on the Apple Play Store, links down below. And then if you are coming in here from the Android side of things, you'll wanna jump into the Google Play Store, where again, they've got a full breakdown of the Viridian wallet. Now, I have my phone connected here, and I'm actually going to jump into the application now. So this is my phone here in real time. And what you'll notice is if I actually jump back over, well, this is the actual Play Store. Um, we have some screenshots here of exactly what the application looks like. Again, really interesting to see here. And what I love about this, how clean and simple it is. And I'm also wondering if there's going to be a desktop version, um, which I would assume maybe not now, but in the future. But from here, I was able to download this. I literally just searched Viridian Wallet. And from here, I can now open up the app because it's such a secure application. On my phone, I can actually see what's going on here, um, but they've set in place different features to where I'm not able to actually sort of cast this through my regular software that I use. So as an example, if I maybe jump into the Comet app here, which is a trading app developed by the team from JPEG, you guys can actually see and follow along as I'm doing different things here within the app. But because the Viridian wallet is so secure, when I open that up, I can still see what's going on here, but it's not able to be broadcasted or shared outside of the traditional sort of 
phone display here. So um, really cool to see that. I'm going to have to figure out a way to sort of dive a little bit deeper into this application, um, given sort of the security requirements. But this is exactly what you want to see, um, an application that's meant to handle um, your data in a very private way. And the fact that things like that particular feature that I just showed off there have been built in and incorporated only tell me that this team has really gone above and beyond here to make sure that this app really does give us the full bit of privacy that we know and deserve within this particular space. So that will do it here for today's brief update, reviewing the official Viridian wallet. Again, I'll see if I can get some more content out here, but I want to break this news here as it was just released earlier today. As always, if you guys do enjoy this type of content, I would appreciate you if you could smash that thumbs up on the way out. If you want more, consider subscribing. And last but not least, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or maybe I missed something, feel free to voice off down below. Uh, that said, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.